bring to us the topic of the day. In the topic is coming from the, our memory verse that we have, uh, we have been having for the last uh, four uh, sessions. And we met here Yes, it is on kindness of fruits, all the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Kindness. The fruits of the Spirit. And for the last sessions, four sessions, we have seen that the works of the Holy Spirit are evident in love, in joy, in peace, in patience. Willing submission if you are willing. You can make me clean. If you are willing. You can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing. He said. He said. He said be clean. Hallelujah. Lord, if you are willing. If you are willing, Jesus is the best example of the Christian today. And Jesus said, yes, I am willing. And because I'm willing. Be made clean. Be clean. Be clean. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow me to say a few things about Jesus Christ. In the Bible we read a lot of stories about Jesus' ministry. He healed the sick. And performed miracles. To teach us through those acts. We often fail to see the lessons. And we just read the parables, read the stories and the hearts of Jesus Christ. Let us not forget that Jesus is a teacher. And one of the great teachers. Teachers, the world has ever had. Not just one of them, but yes, the greatest of all times. He used parables and stories teachers about the kingdom of God. But his greatest method in teaching was by example. His deeds taught us about many Christian values. The values like kindness and compassion. He raised children from the dead out of pity for their parents. And accepted disciples from all walks of life regardless of their backgrounds. 
He never went to the great in the societies but he reached out to their disciples from wherever he wanted from. But most importantly he gave up his life so that all of us can be saved. That is the greatest act of kindness that Jesus demonstrated for us. And this now hushes us to the fruit of the Spirit. Where we have read Galatians 5.22 Paul has listed the results of yielding to our flesh. Paul has The works of the flesh before Galatians 22 verse 22 did you read before verse 22 Paul is talking about the works of the flesh the works of this body and he says the works of the body are evident and, they, and these are the works of the flesh he emulates them he lists them he lists them he explains the fruit as the result or the product of yielding to the spirit of God. But the fruit of the spirit is love, peace, patience, kindness. What is the meaning of the fruit? Yes, the fruit here is used in singular form. But when you look at the Greek and the English definition of the word fruit, the word fruit can function as a collective singular. As a collective singular. As the fruit in the ball, in a ball. Whether it is in one kind or of several kinds. You talk about the ball of fruit. Whether there are many or there are one in kind. Before we look at the fruit of the spirit and specifically kindness just notice this statement that Paul wrote. Against such things there is no law. That is the part B of Galatians 23. What is Paul, what is Paul telling us? Why is she very specifically on the on the on the law? Paul points out that the flesh needs restraint. And it needs restraint. Ni wenda automatekwa mateka automatekwa restrain ni wenda usiwe without the restrain the works the works of the flesh begins to to begins to reveal themselves in our lives ye mwe utemusie usiao wa mwe ni wizo na nasia na metuki the fruit of the spirit in the usiao wa beba it is that which restrains the work of the flesh ni wo usiea and that is why he gives himself time to write about the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Because that fruit of the Spirit will be able to restrain the works of the flesh in our lives. And the fruit of the Spirit will help us to manifest the works of God in our days. And the one of the works of the Spirit is kindness, the fruit of the Spirit. 
when we are walking the spirit we automatically begin to manifest the character of god and how do we manifest the character of god we manifest the character of god in the nine virtues of the spirit of god and the virtues of god one of them kindness the fifth fruit. when there is spirit there is no longer any need for law when the spirit of God is within you you do not need anybody to say do not do not sin do not sin because the Bible says that the grace in us will teach us Titus Titus says and the grace of God has appeared to all men. Teaching us. Say no to every form of ungodliness. So when the spirit of God is at work in you. He teaches you how to work the works of God. He teaches you how to exercise the fruit of kindness. And this is my submission. The fruit of kindness can be seen in our personal character traits. And they must be. Now, they must be. They must be. And that should be the case. And it should form part of our personal traits. If we want to describe Kavoi, we should be able to say Kavoi is kind. Kavoi is a kind brother. That is too kind of you. It should form part of our daily routine, daily personal. But that is not war what Paul is trying to teach us. Paul intends that the Galatian churches put the works or put the fruit of the Holy Spirit into practice in their Christian communities. In Galatians 5.15 says if you keep on biting and devouring each other nundwe kumi na itano jiasia indi edhi wa nimu kuma na nakuisa na inyue kwa inyue you cannot bite and devour each other when you are kind to your brother muito na kuma na nakuisa na jila mukwika na nesa you cannot insult when you are kind to your fellow brother duto na kuma muendwa uenda umwika nesa and he continue to say watch out you will be destroyed by each other also so that you don't finish one another because the works of the flesh they destroy each other they finish each other they don't edify one another they don't build one another allow me to bring to divination of kindness what is kindness? what is kindness? Kindness is, is defined as as a noun. Kindness is generosity. Be kind. Goodness. Just goodness. It's the quality of being friendly. Being generous and the quality of being considerate you, you are concerned you are very much concerned about others you care the words that you 
You care about the effects of your word to others. No subia. We ko waku kwa ala angi. Some similar words that can be used as kindness. Ndeto ila ito na kubwa na natakwika angi nesa. The synonyms are kind act. Nita kiko kiseo kana wiko museo. Good deeds. I meko maseo. Acts of kindness. Meko ma kwika angi nesa. Good turn. Nita kutunga kuoko kwa useo. Yes, good turn. Ukatunga kuoko kwa useo. Even favor, and even favor. Na wende esio. Other words can be used as benevolence. Zie ngida kuona ni ya kwika angi nesa. Be mindful of the welfare of others. Kukuwa ni ya meyo kwa kutethe ya nesia. If somebody is diseased. You visit the family. You mourn with them. And that is exactly what Jesus did. When they lost Lazarus. He made his way to the family of Mary and Mary. And he was able to mourn with them. You mean. Umundo. Being good to people. Be nice to them. Wa Just be nice. Uke the wa understand wena, them wena as musamu. people. Understand them as people, not, not, not assets, andu. not instruments. E you get concerned about their affections. Uke, uke wa uikulia, wa you are concerned about their tiredness, their state of health. Uke kumana, undu wa mi, mi yo. Sympathy. Hey. Feel with others. Ah, uh, we na tei na ndwa langi. Feel with others. E, uke the wana tei undu wa ndwa langi. Put in yourself in their shoes and feel with them. Uka uke licha ah ali nizo. And you feel with them. No, you and you empathize. You empathize. Na hindi uiku ni amiyo now. And not only sympathize, but you empathize. You go out of your your way to support where the support is needed. Eka kume we a tei kuoka. Indi ukalika muiyo ni wao ukakuani ya nao muiyo. Can also mean compassion. Ah, no, this the way to take wa wendo. Yes, because of the love that you have for them. Nundo wa wendo la we na wakondo wao. You empathize with them. Okay, the wana take wa kumakuwe si ya muiyo. Charity and the caring. E kwe the wana ku na na wendo na kwenye kusubia. Hallelujah. Alleluia. What is the opposite of kindness? We say you are unkind. You are unkind. You are unkind. You are cruel. You are cruel. We now thuku wa wai. You don't care. You don't mind. Ah, we mu colony. You are harsh. You are harsh. We mu we mai. We mu colony. We mu thuku. And what are some of the actions of kindness in general? Na mawona niyo kana meko. Because every day we are confronted with opportunities for us to show kindness. Nundo mudena kudiulongi netu koma na na ma na mavata ma kona ma kui kangi nesa. Yes, a door held open for another just to get in. It's a act of kindness. Ah, kubingo ya mo mo ne kanongi alike no we kwa useo. Just a kind word or a smile, a wave. A part of the shelter. Ndeto nzeo kana kutitia mundu muongo kana ongezi ya koko. Kwa hati of Ni wiko wakwi kangine. But is that all what Jesus is teaching us to be doing every day? Nanu ala maundu yesu kutuma nisha kwa kila mudena. I'm sure there is that. Nanini isipe mbe wakiu. It is more than just helping somebody to carry a heavy load. Ni mbe waku kwe ya mutui waku muiyo. I'm sure it is more than giving food to someone who is angry. Ni mbe ange waku nenga mundu winanzali waku. And that is exactly evident by the national organizations. Na kiu ni chona na wane sani ilangu wata ni osia andisi onde. The action hate. Uh, utedio, uh, UNICEF. Mawiko mo tedio. UNICEF. Ilan, ilan, ilan kamba nita waja UNICEF. UNHCR. The one na, that cares for refugees. Nengile subi ya andu ala matolo makiliti. They are very good in their acts of kindness. Medhi ya wana meko ma 
ma, ma, ma WFO World Food Organizations. Na ilangwa tani oja unenga nduleu. USAIDS. Na utedio. They even go ahead and build houses for the poor, for the window, for the orphans. Alama bikea andwa landi wana andwa alama makwati wene misi o makamaki wana mba. For the disadvantaged. Na maskedi wana mitu o ya kukili andwa alama makwati wene nimikasa. A smile on your way to class. Is that all what we mean by kindness? O jila, jila, ulothi umutanu, jila wako manana langi. As you get into a class, you smile at somebody. Yes, it is a kind, it's a kind word, it's a kind action. Or giving a free drink to your friend. Going just contributing a 200 to somebody, to a brother who needs just a help somewhere. Or even giving an extra tutor tutoring hours offered without extra pay. You are very kind. I don't need your money. I'm very kind. I'm very kind. It's all that kindness means. We all experience acts of kindness every day. Even the 13th month salary to our work is an act of kindness. A 13th month pay or salary. Ona ndibi ya mwewe kumi na itatu kwa mudhu kumi. Yes, after a year, you decide to give an extra one month pay, full pay, free of charge. Never work for me, but that is a gift for you. A Christmas gift for you. Mwako the lili okaibo mwewe kumi na itatu ukongelu wa musala wa mwe yute ibo, tawiko wako ikuwa neza ni mbosi. I don't demand you are working, you work for me. Na mbosi ya ikuwe ona ndibi ya ikuwe ndobu kume, osa musala muima wiute. Nundu ni ngwenda kwika nesa. We all experience all these acts every day. In our workplaces, in our families, in our interactions. And then summarize the kindness as a divination. I want to quote Aristotle. And this is what he said in his book, in his second book of rhetoric. And he said kindness is helpfulness towards somebody in need. Not in return for anything. Not for the advantage of the helper himself. But for that of the person helped. Kindness. Helping someone in need. Ni kutethia mundu winabata. Not expecting anything in return. Ute utalithia kutungi wa kuoko. No even taking an advantage of the one you are helping. Kana kutalithia kumutumi ya nae ula ute. And this is evident with the politicians today. Na keuni chochona na wanandu maitu masi. They do all acts of kindness every day. Ni meka ama wiko masi omu the nakuthi ulongi. They even give monies in sponsor. Even they visit the churches around. And nations. It's acts of kindness. But the question is. What are they expecting in return? If you are expecting a return from your kindness. That is not kindness. Nundu ni meutali ya kutunge wa kuoko usuti weko wa useo. That is not kindness. Usuti weko wa useo. And it is not the fruit of the spirit. Usuti useo wa beba. Because you are taking an advantage of my vote. Ketumi nundu wenda utumi, wenda undumi ya naiku la nisi akwa. So that, and it's for you to help me. Ni kanani la si meke kuunenga siyo. What is the importance of kindness in our lives? Vata wakika anginesa. And why is kindness important to God? Why is it very important to God? Why take time to study, to understand? The Bible has so many scriptures that remind us that it is our job to love and to be kind. It is our job. It is a calling for you to exercise. It is actually the fruit of the way. It's the only way. It's an emblem. 
ni usiao ni kilio cha bata of the virtues and night virtues ni wona ni omweka te wa mawona ni okenda mabe we are oh in the fruit of the spirit ta kilisto tuinapata wa kiana usiao ni wa beba we have to grow tuinapata wa kiana and then growth takes time na kokiana ni kukuai binda like a tree planted a seed does not transform into a tree overnight. But with careful watering, tending and patience, a seed will slowly grow day by day into a strong towering tree. Kwa wumi sio mbeuni diana kabola ikesa utwe kamuti munene wa kwibokwa. So for us to grow in the fruit of the spirit of kindness. Time is vengeance. It takes time. You have to cultivate it day by day. You have to be careful on how you work on it. It must be faithful. You must be faithful every day to bear good fruit. Hallelujah. Amen. Kindness is the very root of God's nature. And the spirit maturing the father's kindness in our character. Hallelujah. Amen. The world has a way of remembering all demonstrated kindness. On, on, on November 13th every year. Kila mwaka matuku miongo tatu mamwe kumi na mwe. For what we call the World Kindness Day. Dini zanuwe muda nusu ya weta muda na wande zonde wa kuika angi nesa. The day I light in random good deeds and positivity. Everybody. Ah, pala nduma ndi kani ana makatu mani amde tonzeo. Just good deeds. But should kindness be preserved for one day in a year? Like what the world does? Is kindness just random act? Is it just a something that comes spontaneously and you act and from there you, you forget about it? The Bible has so many examples of kindness. And it offers a perfect model for us to follow Jesus Christ. Where we've read Matthew 8, 1, 4. The healing of the leper. When Jesus came down from the mountain, a crowd followed him. And the leper wanted to be healed. He said, Would you mind healing me? If you are Would you make me clean? And Jesus said, Yes, I am willing. Just be clean. Just very natural to Jesus. Because of the communicability of leprosy. Yes, lepers were considered outcasts. They were to live separately from the rest of the people. They were seen as unclean and untouchable. But Jesus taking pity on the leper. He healed him of his disease. He did not see this man as a leper. But as a human being, humane, human being who was sick and needed help. He saw the leper as a human being, a man that God came to save. Amona mumangu tamundu, gai unmuete umutuye kutangiwa. I don't have time to mention about the dining with a sinner. Na no nai wene binda ya kuele, siondu yesu kuisa ni anayeni nai. With such as the chief tax collector. Taisa ni ya na 
ninamula mumia wa koti preaching to the genders na ilikana na nduma ambaye the samaritan woman the no foreign and the gender so we compassion aliona ni yako wa useo kwa anaye the woman with the issue of blood no la mundu muka wa uma wa ni ndaka memia ka mingi giving those team Uh, Yesu aiye care on alama mubiti asia even the thief on the cross on akula uh, kila kingei mukelanione even the soldiers who pierced him on alasi kalima mutonye na matumo and telling god forgive them for they do not know what they are doing aje suba sama e kenu ndo matie si ndo mekweka even the restoration of the year that was cut by peter ona kutungu ya kusikali kula kutu kwa ikuna sabu wa nibetelo and after the restoration of the year the soldier went ahead and pierced him na musikali usu wa minete utungi wa kutu oso itumo na asonga kumutoni Jesus is a perfect example of one who was very kind Yesu ni mgele kanyombi ya ni uja kwika anginesa very kind kwika nesa allow me to mention a few faces of kindness in the new testament Bitikili ini ete amebwano uh, mipudu ya kwika angine sandini wa utia ni omwe friendliness ah uh, ndu kwitha we munyanya summarized of summarized the faces of kindness into four ni 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 etete ah 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 umanisiosu ndini wa ilio itano friendliness na wambe ni kwithi wa wina unyanya kindness reaches out ah uh, kwika angine sani kubikia It reaches out to people. Nikutambu kasia kuoko kukabikia andu. 1 Corinthians 13:4 says, Akolindo wambe 13 na wa 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 kana. Love is patient. Biblia ya sia wendo ni wume ya sia. Love is kind. Na ni we ni we kamo. It is not self-seeking. Na andwe ndwe kiweu. It is friendliness that inquires about the welfare and the well-being of others. Nindu imandi ya usio wa alangi. Not friendly to me you will never seek to know how I'm doing in life. Ukae makwitha munana kwa kwa ndwe nda kumana maundu makwa makila muthenya. You never lift your call and inquire how my day was. No we mweni kosa simu wako na kuungulia muthenya wako awili hata. Because you are not friendly. No ndu ndwe ndu ya kwa. But when you are friendly you will do that. In the way munana no wike o how is god the role model of friendliness nata ngai ne molo to musio wa kwika anginesa god friendliness reaches out ah uh, unyanya wa ngai no to be kete for god so loved world that he gave his only begotten son nundu ngai ni wende ni wendie nthi ni wanenganie mwana wake e umwe john 3:16 Yohana kilungu cha katatu na musu wake Look at the fall of man in Genesis. Sisi akubaluka kwa mundu ibuku ni amwambililio. God came calling Adam walking in the garden. Nanga yati uka mumande atamu eten. And the Lord God called to the man, "Where are you?" Nanga yeta na nawasi munene kwa atamu weba. Kindness seeks out. Kikanesa ni kumanda. It walks out. Na ni kutembea ni kutambuka. And its language is where are you? Na How are you doing? Ni wipa no ende. How are you faring all? Wende ye ata. Is it all well? Maundu ni maseo. Where would you want me to come through for you? Ni pa wenda nuke ku tete. Do you need my support? No we ni we ni wenda bata wako. Do you need me in your affairs? We na bata wako maundu. I'm available for you. Ni ni pokondo wako. God came calling where are you? Gayati ukana na eta tam. Put in aside the hearts. Aya ute kana yulwa ni mapiti yo mate. To restore friendship. Ni kana tungi yendu. After the fall of man after man sinned. Itina wa mundu kwika nai. And God cast him. Nanga ya muumania. God made God skin for Adam and his wife Eve. Gai atume ya mundu kithuma changwe bwika. Atamu na hawa. And they clothed them. Na mapweka uthei wo. That's an act of kindness. Usune weko. This is a fallen man. Oni mundu mubaluku. This is a man that he was the one to speak to them. Ujuni mundu latakethi waninye na inena. I would reproach them. I would reprove them. I would beat them. I would cast them from their end. Ngamatwea. 
but look at the words that God is using to this man. In this is ya Yoba himself took responsibility. Where he was. After be cast. He still goes ahead and restores them. Clothes them. And it covers their shame. How are you secured by God? Ephesians 2 7 says that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace. Expressing his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. The other face of kindness is compassion. Compassion. Kindness cares. We make it part of our wardrobe. Um, we make it as part of our wardrobe, our clothing. And that is what exactly Paul says in Colossians 3.12. Clothe yourself with compassion. Uh, kana with useo. compassion and kindness be kind and compassion to one another uh, kindness is demonstrated like in Jesus Christ times. the feeding of the 5,000 with 5 loaves and the 2 fish Matthew 14 verse 14 when he went out, he saw a great multitude. Was moved with the compassion for them and they healed their sick. And look at what people, sometimes people do like disciples. And instead of supporting the agenda of Jesus, they asked and replied to Jesus. They need not to go away. I mean, that is Jesus said, but they say, Send them away to their villages and uh, buy food for themselves. You don't need to be so much careful about their affairs. Their no. homes, their families can go. They, can they go and eat from their homes? But Jesus says they need not to go away. You give them something to eat. Just give them something to eat. Of compassion. The feeding of the 4,000. Matthew 15:32. With seven loaves and a few fish. That, that Jesus says, yes. I have compassion for these people. They followed me for three days. And they have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them away. Those are the words of Jesus. I don't want to send them away angry. Lest they faint on the way. It's a night of kindness. But look at the disciples what they are saying. Where do we get enough food for this great crowd? And here is in the wilderness. But he commanded the multitude to sit down. And God's compassion flows forth in practical ways. Helpfulness. 
Yambe ni utedio. To be generous and willing to extend yourself in practical ways. Kwithi wawina ulau na kwiko takutedia kwanzi ya The blind beggar was brought to the master. Uh, ula mboji kililinda ae tuwe kwa mumanisia. And they said, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asks. Yes, wa mkuli. Ya na wenda ngwike ata. And he was healed. Na boga. Was opened his eyes. Absalu kwa metho make. For bearers. Ah, uh, wumi isyo. The fourth phase of kindness. Ah, uh, mutuo wakana wakwika anginesa. Again and again, God's response to hostility is an example of kindness. Ingi na ingi, undungai wosa kubitiwa ni wiko wa kwika andunesa. God's kindness tolerates and is patient. Ah, uh, wikwika, wiko wanesa yangai the womb is you. And that patience leads us to repentance. Na usios we womb is you utubikasya umbulo. Romans 2.4 Alomi kilungu cha keli it na muswa wakana. It talks about loving your enemy. Bala mbibilia kueta undu wa kumenda kuenda mtu ya ku. to them. Na kumeka nesa. Lend to them without expecting to get anything. No ima kobe thia bate bata waku tungiwa. Not expecting a return of, 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 of your kindness. Ute utali thia kutungiwa useo waku. In Luke 6.32 and then says, Then your reward will be great and you will be sons of the most high. Na luka kilungu cha dhandatu na musuwa wake li yasya na etubi jenyu ikedhi waji nene. Why? Because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Ketumi nundu we ni wika nesa ndusi yake na lama teuseo. Paul decides Paulo e asiata. And he cries out and says in Titus 3.4. Dini wa tito kilungu cha katatu na musuwa wakana. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior. E asiakana. Indi jila usio wanga imu tange iwa ito. Towards us appeared. Na wendo wake wele kele. He saved us. Atu tange ya. He saved us. Atu tange ya. Even when we are unkind, we are enemies to God. He saved us. Why do we people shy off from exercising kindness? Some people seek kindness as a sign of weakness. They consider a kind person as naive and gullible. Self, selfness, selflessness is required in exercise of kindness. But many people do not want to be selfless. Because selflessness means it's a cost. You don't want to get credit kindness. Yet many people want to get credit out of their acts of kindness. The fear of being misunderstood. Such attitudes are the results of the influence from the reasonings of our vast society. Because the society doesn't appreciate good deeds. It misleads them as a show of. Our kindness is misread as a show of. And if it is kindness exercised by the opposite sex. People start to think that you are showing a romantic interest on your, on your partners. As a way of a come on. And you say. So what does the biblical kindness look like? Not just a of a feeling. It should be a system of a feeling. Only in Christmas times. 
And after demonstrating all the acts of kindness, the January is there, deaths are there, and there is so much that you need to care take care of. Wako na niya mawiko ma useo indi January ibi kanabajithi wana mawito madhaji. And those acts are forgotten. Na mawiko ma useo maizeli. It's a habit, it's a lifestyle. Indi ni muyana ni mutuo. We must be faithful every day to bear the good fruit of kindness. We nabata wa kila mudhena kwithi wana ume isi okusia usia wa kwa ume. It must be intentional. These are not spontaneous acts of kindness, random acts of kindness. You must purpose that as a Christian, I'm going to bear these fruits. It's a character that you need to cultivate daily. Hallelujah. 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 Good deeds. Going beyond social stereotypes and perceptions. And as I conclude, Jesus is a perfect example. In his three years of ministry, he looked towards the needs of others. Never turning them away. But how often today do we miss the opportunity to show God's kindness Because to we are too busy for them. We rush here and there. Leaving the needs of others unmet. We need to slow down and open our eyes to we see. Because Jesus took time and you should too slow down make the time and look to the needs of others that need you meeting must be intentional that our purpose I will be kind I will be kind to my fellow men I will be kind to my family people I will be kind to my wife to my husband to my spouse to my workers and as we intentionally show kindness each day may we shine the light of Christ to a dying world in the need of a savior because a generation of today needs love and grace. We need to be the Jesus. Be Jesus to somebody. Would somebody say, are you willing? Would you mind about my affairs? Be Jesus to somebody. And every day and today also. And make Jesus your role model. And the kindness your lifestyle. But you cannot do all this. Without reflecting back on the works of Jesus Christ. On the cross. Because the reason as to why Jesus went on the cross. Was so that he may show kindness to the world. Extending his arms to the dying world. And say. And say here I am. I'm willing to give you life. Would you want to be healed? Would you want to be saved? You can only begin with Jesus. You cannot bear the fruit of the spirit. When the seed of God has not been planted in your life. And the only way to let the seed of God germinate in you. It is by accepting Jesus Christ. You are there, you have never been, been, been saved. You we need an encounter. The love of Jesus is still flowing. His arms wide stretched. And he's opened his mouth, say, Come and let us listen together.
that will give you life hallelujah hallelujah Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you that you've given us an opportunity to listen to your word. Your word is life to us. Thank you for your loving kindness that you demonstrated on the cross by giving up your life to us who are dead in our transgressions. And today, Lord, we appreciate the work of your kindness through the Spirit of God who is in us. Would you help us to grow in this fruit so that we may be more and more like you even as we walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. If you are there, you have never given your life to Jesus. Jesus is calling wait you and say try me today. You have never given your life to Jesus. Just want to pray with you. You can show by lifting of your hand. And Jesus Christ today. Yesu na ukutangi ya umundi. You want to give your life to Jesus. It begins there. You cannot bear the fruit of kindness. Because the perfect model is Jesus. And you need Jesus in your life. You can only be kind as per God's standards. If only you emulate the life of Jesus. By accepting him. Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. We bless you. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us give a clap of our to our God. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. Amen.